We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Prop? And welcome back to Tip of the Week. This week I'm going to show you how I repaired my headphones. Now, I have a pair of aging Bose headphones here from the good old days. And one day I found that the thin plastic pieces were cracked on both sides. Apparently some rough handling. I'm not sure how or who or why, but that's not important. My question was to replace these would be a heck of a lot more than I had and all because of a few broken plastic pieces on both sides. I could only imagine what Bose would charge if I sent these in and said please fix them. Uh, and then I went on to the internet, dangerous place sometimes, to see if anyone else had the same problem and sure enough very common. But sure enough on eBay there were vendors selling these new pieces. They were $40 a piece, so I was looking at about $80 to fix these, so that was relatively good news. And then a friend of mine came along and took a look at me, found me really sad, almost crying when I discovered that these were broken, and he says, let me show you another way. My friend, 3D Steve, introduced me to the world of 3D printing. The key to getting my Bose headphones fixed was to see if any other individual somewhere in the world had already designed and created a replacement part for this Bose headphone. Steve looked online and sure enough he found it. This individual freely donated the file that tells the 3D printer how to make this object and all we had to do is download it and send it to the printer. This is 3D Steve's 3D printer. He scratch built this machine. It was not a kit. The moving head is heating a filament and deposits a bead of material precisely on the flat bed below. The downloaded data file from the website we mentioned tells this head where to go and how much material to deposit. It is essentially delivering a single layer of the material with each pass. When it's all complete we will have two new parts for our headphones. And here is the 3D printed part. Isn't that amazing? You mean got the little R for the right side? Got our holes in the right location. Here's the original one. Color's a little different. one and I'll continue with installation of the other one and hopefully we'll be back in shape in no time and there you have it all of our new components installed you can't beat that new life to an old set of headsets here is what is important for us to learn from this headset repair job. Pull up the website thingiverse.com on your computer. What you will find is a collection, more of a library, of thousands of objects that were uploaded by creators of things that can be reproduced on a 3D printer. As in the case of my headset parts, we downloaded the file found on this website 
and commenced printing. The wonderful concept about this is that most of these items are made available for free, kind of like the free YouTube video you are watching now. It is worth spending some time looking through this website to get an idea of the objects that are available. They range from the mundane to the elaborate. You can search for specific objects by entering descriptive words. You will see applications for using some of these things in custom aircraft building as you dig deeper and deeper into the collections of parts and pieces. While I'm not suggesting everyone should obtain a 3D printer, there is a good chance you know somebody that owns one. They are now getting standard in high school shop classes where budgets permit, and certainly in vocational college settings. Get to know the teacher. Get to know the local high school kid that knows how to use these. Or get a machine for yourself. The future for custom component creation is now. If you do nothing but look through this website, you will have made a grand stride as you now know exactly what is possible with these machines. And there you have it. Now you know about another method, another way, another resource or angle for addressing challenges with broken parts or pieces or jigs or things that need fixing or improving. It's the world of 3D printing because the possibilities are almost endless when you consider the creativity that comes from others, especially when they provide it online like that. And thinking about this stuff is going to make it hard to get back to building, but this is part of building. So take some time, investigate those libraries of 3D components, and then just consider the possibilities. Really, back to building.